Hey guys, today I wanted to talk with you about measuring fabric pool performance in ONTAP. When we tier data to an object store, we go in with the expectation that the tier data is not going to be as fast as you know the data that stays on the performance tier. Your active data is staying on flash where it can take advantage of ultra low latency, massive throughput, and your inactive data gets tiered to an object store where it's far less expensive to store it. We're talking millions of IOPS versus thousands of IOPS, maybe tens of thousands of IOPS. We're talking sub-millisecond latencies versus sub-second latencies. We're trading price for performance, which is exactly what we want to do. We want to pay less to store data that we rarely use. That doesn't mean that performance has to be awful. That's one of the big differentiators of using Fabric Pool to tier an ONTAP. If you need it, you can get SATA-like performance object storage. It really comes down to how fast is your network connection and how many IOPS can your object store provide. And to be fair, not everyone even needs SATA-like performance. Again, this is a price for performance play, and generally, the less performance you need, the less it costs. No matter what our performance requirements are, we want to check things out before we attach an object store to an aggregate and put it into production. Honestly, even if performance isn't a priority for you, it's good to look into it ahead of time to better set expectations. I mean, your recovery time objectives are going to be dramatically different if you're looking at 500 megs per second versus, say, 50 megs per second. And that's where ONTAP 9.4 comes in. In ONTAP 9.4, we get a new tool, the Object Store Profiler, and it makes measuring fabric pool performance very easy. It lets you test the latency and throughput performance of object stores before you attach them to fabric pool aggregates. Before we can use the Object Store Profiler, ONTAP needs to know that the object store exists. The easiest way to do this is in System Manager, but you can do that using Object Store Config Create um, in the CLI. We cover that in other Fabric Pool videos, so we'll save some time in this video and get straight to the good stuff using the Object Store Profiler. It's an advanced command, so let's set the advanced privilege first. We're going to Storage Aggregate, Object Store Profiler Start, then we're going to name the object store and name the node. That'll kick off the process. What's happening now behind the scenes is ONTAP is doing a bunch of puts and even more gets. This job shouldn't take too long, but ONTAP does want to throw a fair number of IOPS at the object store in order to get a good idea of what real world performance is going to look like. To view the results, we're going to do storage aggregate object store profiler show. Here we see lots of puts, even more gets in all the supported byte ranges, you know, 4K all the way up to 256. Remember, that, that's one of the big advantages of Fabric Pool. It doesn't need to get the entire file. It only needs to get the necessary blocks. So you're not stuck moving a 2 gig file over the wire if the client only needs to read 200 megs of it. But the most important information here is the latency and throughput. With a 10 gig direct connection, most public clouds will be delivering hundreds of megabytes per second. Is that slower than flash? Yes, much slower. But it's also much less expensive, which is what we want for our cold, rarely used data. If you need performance out of your object store, you'll probably want to use a private cloud, like Storage Grid, where you can dedicate CPU directly to the object store. More CPU equals more IOPS. That's the object store profiler for you. It makes measuring fabric pool performance super easy, so you can see latency and throughput performance of an object store, predict RTO, set expectations, and do all of it before you even attach the object store to an aggregate. If you like this video, please be sure to click like below and subscribe to see more. Thanks for watching.